good morning guys so it is oh my gosh what is the day wednesday today tpn went well last night no issues the weather's like warm ish and i'm trying to decide whether i should bring a jacket with me or not i think i'm gonna be warm enough in my jumper without the jackets if it gets cold later on so i'm not sure how long we're gonna be out for if it gets colder whether i should put one in jenna's car just to be on the safe side <laughs> if i'm cold later and i'm complaining you guys can be like i told you so um but i'm not gonna pack one anyway jenna's like literally almost here she's got me in the mood for mcdonald's she would text me and she's like we, we, we might get mcdonald's on the way and i was like oh i'm craving it so bad now but i shouldn't if i have something i'm gonna have something i can drain i'm trying to be good so tempting though Solo, I still remember long ago when I saw you so cold. I gave my jacket blue and gold. Then you said, <laughs> I guess I'm the gins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, um, hey guys, so I don't really vlog that much while we're out, but I got a call from my dietitian like about half an hour ish. Would you say it's about half an hour ago? We're gonna be try we're trying a new feed. It's semi-elemental though. Um, so I just basically gotta come pick it up from the <laughs> from the um, patient equipment center. I'm kind of nervous because it's because I've gone I'm going from like a fully broken down feed to like a semi one. Yeah. So we'll see. Quick uh quick enough. I wonder if she's dropped the feed off already. Oh, I hate the smell of hospitals. Yeah. It's like too clean. It feels like disinfectant. Yeah, it does. This is the feed that we're trying, guys. So it's semi-elemental, which means it's not fully broken down. It's like half broken down. Basically just means it's like half digested. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm pretty sure I have tried this before, but like ages ago. So we'll see how it goes. I was gonna, I was gonna put it back in, in the thing. <laughs> Lob it in. So guys, it's almost midnight. Tom said to me, Is it? Um, yeah, it's 22, 12. He promised that he would do a things that make you go, hmm, tomorrow. He's not done one in the longest time. Half of that is my fault because I haven't been vlogging as much. But exactly. you me still, off. he doesn't even have one. Yeah, I just asked him for one. He was like, nope, I don't have one. I'll think of one for tomorrow. It's so good that it's got to wait another day. Lights out, all out. Do you know where that's from? No. Lights out, all out. What's it from? It's from Take Me Out. Is it? So, oh, Patty. I just found out that Final Space Season 2 is out. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite, like, animated series. Animated? Is that the word? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Life, is it? No, I was <laughs> getting confused with anime. Is that some sort of bondage thing? No, it's like, uh, like Japanese cartoons. Yeah, Japanese Um... <laughs> So anyway, so I'm about to watch just one episode of that before I go to bed. I'm going to do a little bit of editing. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. And I need to set an alarm for tomorrow because I'm due a delivery and I don't want to miss them. I'll set it for half eight and then I'll just kind of stay awake until I hear them because I don't want to miss them. I am going to start my new feed tomorrow. I was going to do it tonight, but she told me not to run it overnight. She told me to run it when I'm not on TPN. So once my TPN's finished tomorrow, I'll set up my new feed which I'm pretty sure I have tried like a while ago, but I think the bottles that I had were almost about to go out of date. So I think that made it harder to tolerate. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a go anyway. Good night, sleep well, or good morning if you're just waking up and <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it's currently Thursday evening. Um, I didn't, we didn't end up doing anything today. Tom and I were meant to be going out for dinner tonight, but we didn't end up going out. Pretty much didn't do anything today. I literally slept all day. I was so, so tired from yesterday. Wasn't even gonna vlog, but I thought I'd just put that in before I go to bed. Um, got my orthopedic appointment tomorrow. I'm kind of nervous because this is the first time I'll be seeing him since I had my seizure and kind of messed my hip up. Pretty sure it dislocated. We're not 100% sure. We know it was sublaxed, but we're not sure if it fully came out or not at some point. However, it was so painful afterwards. So we know something's happened to it. And um, the doctors at the hospital, because I wasn't at my normal hospital, they thought that the bone 
I had, had like another break in it but they obviously don't have any original x-rays to compare it to so we will obviously find that out tomorrow my friends when I was out yesterday noticed that I was limping more than normal and just in more pain but yeah fingers crossed that it's nothing bad and that you know I don't need another surgery or anything because I was gonna originally talk to him about my left hip tomorrow but obviously well, let's just make sure everything's okay with the right side first and then I can think about the left side anyway I'm gonna head to bed now guys um and I'll see you all in the morning good morning guys sorry it's a bit loud I'm in McDonald's drive through guilty I always crave in a mocha um, getting it with almond milk though, and I'm gonna drain it before my appointment. I have left with enough time to be able to drain before my appointment, basically. Hang on, coming up to the window. I've been waiting recently. Right. Why do they do that? Like, they have you waiting at the window and then tell you to park. Like, oh, annoying. Anyway, good morning, everybody. I'll update when I get there or after, depending if I have time. Um, and yeah, good morning. I love you guys so, so much. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying the more regular vlogs because I'm doing my absolute best to get these out as soon as I can. <laughs> so I'm here. Um, I do have time to update, turns out. Um, I always leave, I always, I'd rather like be early for appointments so I can sit here and like relax rather than having to like rush. Cause now I can leisurely go get my parking ticket and leisurely walk to the hospital like that's literally the hospital right there like normally i'll try and park in the disabled base because they're a lot closer um and there is more disabled parking like way over the other side like there's near the mental health unit but that's a long way for me to walk so i've just parked in this car park because it's closer i'll just walk across the road like there's no big deal like, i can walk that much it just any further than that then it's comes an issue i'll update while i'm while I'm doing stuff, otherwise I will be late. So, Tom and I are going away, and this will be our first time going away with me being on TPN. We've been trying to organize it for months, but we had to keep rearranging because I got sick or Tom had important meetings that he couldn't like miss and stuff like that. Gosh, it's a bit hot. I think I might take my jumper off. I wasn't expecting it to be this hot so soon, but it is. Luckily, I prepared and I wore like a strappy top underneath this. I've got my little denim jacket instead of my black jumper that's gonna draw heat. Ah, much better. Super thirsty, I'm gonna have to get a drink on the, like, on the way in. Let's go and see how to work these bloody parking machines. Outfit of the day, gray top, black jeans, pink vans, and a denim jacket. Just cover my number plate, but are you guys seeing this? Seven dollars for like an hour. Well, not an hour, a couple hours. I put it to like half 11, because my appointment's at 10, just in case they're running late. I just remembered as well, you can pay on the, the app and actually cancel it so you can pay for as long as you want and then it cancels and only charges you for the time you were there. I should have done that instead of paying the $7 because I could be out by like half 10. Oh, did not think of that. Right, I need to drink, I'm so thirsty. Are you kidding? The machine's out of order. <laughs> I'll see if there's one inside. Look at those bum cheeks. <laughs> They're just discussing my scans. Oh my gosh, I'm so anxious. And that's really unlike me. Like, I never get anxious about stuff like this, I mean. So. Guys, it is so hot right now. I feel like summer's just gonna suddenly come around out of nowhere. So, update. I have a fracture above my PAO site. Um, we're leaving it for now, but they want me to have an MRI and I've got to have, my, I have an MRI on my left side as well, because obviously that side needs operating on, but they want me to do 
both while I'm there. But the left side has to have the injection into it. Um, so I'm gonna need someone to take me to that appointment so they can drive me home because you're not allowed to drive home afterwards. <sighs> yeah, I'm just like a bit like, ugh. Like, I'm just frustrated. But at least I don't need another operation for now on that side. They're just gonna see how it goes and see if it heals by itself. So, let's pray it does. But all the pins and stuff are okay, so thank goodness for that. So anyway, I'm on my way to my second appointment now, which is just with my GP. Um, so I've got about half an hour before that. Well, I need to drive there. It's gonna take me like 15 minutes. not gonna take me that long. Um, so, yeah. Okay, too many people are staring at me. <laughs> I don't know why I thought my blood sugar was up. I've been all like shaky and my heart rate's been high for like the last few hours. But my blood sugar's okay, but it feels like it's not. Like right now my heart rate is 120, which is a bit high for sitting down. Especially when I've literally had my meds and they, they, they're working because I can feel my head tingling. My blood pressure is okay, it's just my heart rate. Everything went well with my doctor. We're starting a new medication for migraines. I get migraines, something I haven't really talked much about on my channel, but I do get migraines. Um, Courtney recommended a wafer it's called Rizaz, Riz Atropin, no. <laughs> Riz Atriptan. Riz Atropan. Riz Atropan. Riz Atropan. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Um, but they're the wafers and they go under your tongue. Um, but yeah, basically, you me you're meant to take it not when you have a migraine, like as soon as you get the symptoms of like a headache starting, you're meant to take it to prevent a migraine. Um, so I'm gonna give that a go. Um, and especially when I'm on my period, I get really bad migraines, especially, and that is due. Ugh, hopefully that will help. I just gotta pop in and get something from the shops um, and then I'm on my way home. Um, obviously via the chemist so I can get the prescriptions that I need. Oh, also, I got a letter from my hospital. They want me to do a sleep study, but I've got to like answer all these forms first, these questionnaire things that I've got to do before the, we can send off the referral for it. So let's go get what I need to get so we can get home. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I literally just text Tom. I was like, please text me before you call because I'm trying to nap and I don't want to like just fall asleep and then he like called to say he's on his way home. Everyone's notified. It's official. I'm taking a nap. Everyone needs to just leave me be for like the next two hours. Because it takes me almost an hour to bloody get to sleep anyway. Also, yes, I'm aware this top is way too small for me. But I didn't realise how much I've gained when I was picking my outfit. Well, I say my outfit. I'm literally wearing like trackies and like just a random shirt. Hey guys, so I've had a shower and everything. Um... We're currently researching, or Tom's occasionally does research on like EDS and other things that's going on in my life. Anyway, we've just come across something. Periodic paralysis is, or hyperkalemic periodic paralysis is a condition that I suffer from. Um, the hyperkalemic part meaning low potassium. Anyway, we just found out like a bunch of other symptoms that you can have from periodic paralysis. Can you go back to it? Sound like EDS though. Which sounds a lot like it kind of overlaps with EDS but these are some of the things. Migraines, heart rhythm abnormalities, ADHD, I don't have that. Um, ins insensitivity to local anaesthetics. That is something that I and I know a lot of other people with EDS suffer from um, but it's also like a symptom of peri periodic paralysis paralysis rather. Severe PMS, which I have pain and cramps. So pretty much everything on there is things that I suffer with. But it was just really interesting about the whole local anaesthetic thing because that's something that I've suffered from for a while and I always need double or triple the normal dose and it also has about half, but like it will wear off in about half the normal time it should, if that makes sense. Crazy, like, I feel like we're always like finding out new things that you didn't know and uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. I'm about to head to bed, it's like past midnight, what is the time actually? 20 to 1. So as I was saying earlier about my pots being rubbish because the weather's changing, I've had to take more of my beta blockers than like what I normally would. Like I take my normal dose and then extras if I need them. It's quite a low dose though, it's not like a high dose or anything. It's the other heart medication which actually acts on the channels of your heart that I have quite a high dose of. I really wanted to go to the cherry blossom 
festival thing on this weekend but i think it's on the next for the next few weeks so we don't necessarily have to go this weekend i do want to go i think it's going to be so cool and i think we'd get some like awesome pictures for instagram so can't wait for that right anyway hope you guys are well i'm gonna head to bed and i will see you guys in the morning good morning guys it's saturday today i'm not wearing any foundation but i am wearing makeup obviously um i literally ran out of foundation so i i couldn't put any on and i didn't want to like waste all my concealer trying to put it on as a foundation so um tom and i are gonna go out for lunch i'm not really sure exactly where we're going but we're going to like one of the restaurants that's in the westfield shopping center um and i need to get some foundation on there obviously so let's go oh actually before i, do, I want to show outfit of the day hang on so I've got this um, flowery top, it's kind of semi-cropped and I'm wearing my cardigan with it because it's not hot hot but it's also not really 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 cold either. So I don't think I need like one of my big coats. With some blue jeans that have rips in the knees and I've got my lovely trusty uh, pastel pink bands on. I'm just wearing my hair down. Oh and the lipstick colour that I'm wearing is... is... Posh Spice. I think it's a little bit dark for the outfit that I've got on, but I can't be bothered to change it, so we're just gonna roll with it for now. <laughs> this is where we decided to eat, guys. Zeus. I was about to say, isn't Zeus the god of lightning? But the lightning bolt kind of, you know, explained that for me. <laughs> I've got some ketchup too, if you want some. And also, for those of you that don't say that it's not cold ketchup, what does that say right there? What does that say? Thank you. How good does this look? And Tom's. I think it's worth an Instagram, Thomas. You're gonna put on your story. I also got some um, lemon tea, which is super nice too. Oh, the donut balls. That's not how I imagined them to look. I thought they'd be bigger for some reason. Hey guys, so we've been to the shops, got all the stuff we needed to get. I got a Harry Potter calendar for Christmas. I'm so excited. I'll show you when I get home. But we're in Harvey Norman, which is like a furniture shop, basically. And we're just going to have a look and see if we can see anything. Because it's about six months to our house will be built. And most places will hold furniture for six months, like maximum. I'm pretty excited. I like this one we were just sat on at the moment. It's very similar to my dad's, but a lot smaller. And even the chairs that don't have the leg bit, you can have your legs out. And it, like, you know, it's good. Tom's just getting up the floor plan. So we can see what we've got to work with space-wise. Three wide. How much? Three point three meters wide. Okay. You need a what? Flush kitten. You, you should use one of the. Oh, here, use the pillow as a kitten. Just guys, imagine this is a kitten. Okay. Action. <laughs> this is a lovely mustard color, guys. Very in. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. It's, a, it's quite firm. Like this is a you know you've sitting for a short period with a coffee, not relaxing watching television. It's quite comfy though. It's like you know, do you want a firm, firm one? Do you want like one that you're gonna like sink into? That's quite nice. It's a IT. I was just thinking that. I, I wanted to get one of the ones that you can hang from the ceiling where the IT nook is though. Hey guys, so we are home now. I'm changed into something a bit more cozy. So I'm not going to show you everything that I got because some of it, I, some of the stuff I actually got was for um, one of my friends whose birthday is coming up in like the next month. So I can't, I can't obviously show that because she might watch this. But I will show you guys the calendar that I got, which I'm actually so excited about. So it is the Harry Potter Funko Pop Vinyl Calendar. So you get 24 mini vinyl figurines and like characters basically i don't know if you get like a little backdrop that they can all sit against i can't remember but even so i think just like collecting the little figurines would be really really cute and i'm assuming this is from the fourth film or fourth book because they look to me like they're dressed in their yule ball outfits which is from the fourth film so i'm hoping that the whole calendar is themed around that rather than just like the main characters um, but anyway we'll see obviously closer to the time i will be doing vlogmas this year so get ready for that. And I think I'm gonna attempt to try and do vlog, vlogtober? Is that, I don't know. Basically, it's very similar to Vlogmas, except it's in October. It's basically you vlog every day. I'm gonna give it a go, kind of as in my trial run, like for preparation 
for vlogmas but i am planning to do vlogmas like i did like i've done every year since i started youtube basically this is such a cool item i got this skeleton skull oh gosh how do you say that skillel grow potion I'm gonna try and take it out of its box, I think. I just don't know how. Um, so this is what Madame Pomfrey gives to Harry when he breaks his arm. Um, and I just, I literally think it's the coolest thing ever. I don't know, oh, goodness. So I can't wait to have my little office shelf that I can have all my little Harry Potter props and things like this. Just really, really cool and unique items. And I also got two books from the bookshop. Originally I was only gonna buy uh, the first one which I'll show you when I got to the counter to pay the woman was she was like oh like if you like love books and you read a lot then you, you might like this and she showed me this book and explained a little bit about, about what it was about and then I was like you know what we're gonna get that as well so uh, I got this the 13 minute murder by James Patterson this has been recommended to me by a good friend and she was like I know you're gonna love this book so I got that and then I also got this one which is called elevator pitch it just sounds very good and I also got a new bookmark as well because I needed one because I've got like I, I always read like a few books like at a time which I know is weird but I have been I'm kind of like in between like two books at the moment I really really fancy this it's so I'll let you know if it's any good so that my friends is everything that I got anyway I'm quite tired now so I'm gonna just relax for a bit Hey guys, so Tom and I are about to head to bed, um, but I wanted to say earlier when- What are you doing? You don't sleep with glasses on, and you can't fall asleep that quick. Um, so when we were in the furniture shop earlier, I started to get a migraine, or the start of one, and I took that ritazapine or whatever it was called, whatever it's called, the one that I talked to you guys about, I took that, and it was a lot better than the taste of Ondansetron, it tasted kind of minty, um, and it didn't have a gross aftertaste and it actually prevented me from getting a migraine which I was so happy about because my doctor said to me she was like it will only work if it is a migraine if it's just a headache then it's not going to do anything for it basically so I'm pleased to report that it's worked so far but obviously we'll see how it goes over the next week or so because I'm due my period but it's a bit late and I always get quite bad I don't want to know that we share everything on this on this channel it's a normal human function we shouldn't be embarrassed to talk about it but yeah guess <laughs> shut up but yeah basically over the god excuse you the bed not stink you better trap it in the covers i don't want it wafting up here quick seal the edges <laughs> um <laughs> basically yeah um over the next w couple weeks i'm well i'm due my period and i always get super ba bad migraines and headaches around that time so we will see if it's gonna prevent my normal migraines that I get. Anyway, get out to bed um, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, also, quickly before I forget, when I was showing you guys all the stuff that we got today when we went out, I forgot to show you my makeup because um, I went and got some foundation because obviously I ran out. But I just got the MAC one and then I also got a free sample of the Too Faced Peach Primer. I think it's a primer. I'll have to show you tomorrow. Um, and then I also got a birthday gift because it was just might be my birthday. Um, so I got a brush by Mecca Cosmetics and it's so so soft so I'll show you those tomorrow um, but I just yeah I've got to show you earlier so guys bit late but as promised Tom has a thing to make up for you guys so welcome to another episode of things that make you go hmm <laughs> the word bed looks like a bed <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> I think I just gave myself whiplash. You just gave yourself whiplash? How did you do My that? Head too quickly. Hey guys, so I've decided to add this in. Basically, I'm pretty sure I was vlogging at this point, but I don't think my channel was very big. Also, how exciting, we're 10k away from 100,000 on this channel, like what? Not the point. I thought I'd show you this picture from a couple years ago when Tom and I uh, went to, where was it? Conway? No, not Conway. Conway Castle, wasn't it? Yeah. It was Conway. I thought so. In Wales. And they have the smallest house in Great Britain there. And Tom took a picture in front of it. And he's basically the size of the house. <laughs> Let me show you. Like, his arm span is literally the, like, the width of the house. And he's basically more than halfway tall like, of the house like what 
maybe, maybe not, maybe two of him would be the length. Not including the roof, obviously. And also, if you guys are wondering, he is six foot five, um, and I'm five foot six. Because everyone, like, when they see pictures, they're always like, oh my gosh, like, you're either really, really short or Tom's really, really tall. He's just really, really tall. I remember, like, because we first met, like, before we met in person, we FaceTimed and stuff. And I remember he told me his height and I didn't believe him. I was like, no, you're not that tall. And he was like, I am, I am. And then he stood next to his mum and I, and I was like, no, nah, your mum's just really, really short. And his mum is, like, short, but he's obviously abnormally tall thought that i'd put that in today's vlog because i thought it was funny anyway it just came up on my facebook as two years ago um but yeah anyway guys i have not vlogged today uh we've had a lazy yeah pretty much relaxed <laughs> ran my feed though my new feed and i'd actually got it up to 10 mils quite I want to say like quite comfortably, but I could like, I wasn't in like incredible amounts of pain like I was in my other feed, which I don't know how that works because this one is actually semi broken down where the other one was fully, like fully elemental. This is se semi elemental and it's got like dairy in it as well. So. You're already meant to put almond milk down your feed, you? Maybe I should put almond milk down. Mm. Well, like try running it into my intestines. Mm. Yeah, I think it's super low calories though. Like 250 mils is only like 90 calories. I'd be better off running feed. So I'm gonna end this vlog here guys so I can start fresh on Monday. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see all your beautiful people tomorrow. Good night guys.